M0FXP, welcome to my channel. Here we are with the Open Spot 4 Pro, and for some reason, mine just will not come on. I fully charged it, and normally to reset it, I'll just hold down both the buttons for quite a while, or even one of each of the buttons, and it will just reset. Now, when I plug a charger into it, it just shows orange for a couple of seconds. You'll see I have taken the lid off to see if the battery had dislodged. So look, there it is there, orange. Let's do that again. It just flashes orange, then goes off. But it's been on charge for a long time. Now to take the lid off, you literally just get your thing here, put it in the gap, like so, and just move round, and it just lifts. Nice and easy. So I'm looking at it thinking, well, you know, I've tried everything. If you hold down the power for 30 seconds. Oh, oh there it goes. It's come to life. I was a bit worried. But that's good news. Let's get my radio. We've got the, got my R finder in the background. And let's... Set it to the correct frequency. And let's see if we get it working. Go home. R-Finder. At the moment, the R-Finder's on the DMROIP. Oh, no, it's come out now. So that's good. And we just, we have programmed it, I'm sure. Open spot. Just show you the inside there, so you get a good look. We can use the open spot as a control panel on the R Finder. Because the R Finder has Android on it. So all we've got to do is go to the Play Store. It's too bright. And then we'll um, search for Shark RF. Like so. Search. Install. And then we'll use the app to find the open spot. I will, uh, it's not plugged into the battery now. No, I mean, it is a good device. I've got the open spot too, actually. It's so much smaller. Look there. So why get an open spot too? Well, it's it, the fact that it's smaller is to me is the best thing about it. Yeah, you do need to carry a little power bank for it, but look how small it is. You could put that in your cigarette lighter in the car. Make sure that it's you've got the adapter for f five volts, though. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be unhappy. That's my uh, TV Mega in the background, which we're going to be doing some video how to re remotely turn it on and off in a bit. Anyway, open. We're going to confirm what it's asking us. And then it should, we do need to be on the same network though, so just check that your Wi-Fi is on the same network as, as the Wi-Fi of the open spot and it should find it. We'll hit the little plus. I mean, it'll probably, it would find them both actually, I'm sure. Then again, maybe not, because one's one hasn't got Wi-Fi, the two hasn't got Wi-Fi. Well, the only way to know is to actually put it to the test. I don't actually think about it. It has, of course, it's got Wi-Fi. The open spot too. So we go back, open, like so. I do plus. It should find them both. Yes, it has. That's the two. Right now, we're playing with the the four Pro. So we're going to select that and then do the little TV. It's the first time I've done this on the R Finder, so we're allowing everything. Okay, done that's the open spot too. 
Interesting. Let me turn one off. We'll go back to the R finder and we'll set a frequency. So we'll tap the screen and we're going to set it to 433900 is the one I tend to use. For open support, 433. 900 shoot that across simplex time time slot 2 talk group 91 I think it doesn't have to be DMR low power DMR set parameters now we haven't saved it to the memory yet we can and turn it up That's our open spot flashing away. Turn it up. And we'll go back to our, hit the square here. Go back to the open spot and we'll do quick setup. Quick setup on a DMR radio. 433900's already in. Brandmeister. Server I use, Brandmeister UK. And find that. DMR call sign, Brandmeister password, and then we're going to put in here, we're going to search worldwide. W. R. They are worldwide, and then connect. And we should hear the radio, in theory, tell us it's trying to connect. I think maybe I've got to set the talk group to, to 9 on the R finder. So we'll go like so, tap the screen. Let's do 9. Set parameters. The idea is that when we key now, see it's flashing. Let's do that again. Okay, so I've noticed that the when you're on the open spot, it does clash, the audio does clash with the audio that you'd be getting from our finder, but otherwise it works fine. Anyway, having fun. Tinkering with these different gadgets. 7-3, catch you on air, all the best.